was hot today. We reached a high of 95 degrees. A uh, heat wave officially with three days of temperatures in the 90s, but this rainfall cooled us down quite a bit heading into the late part of the afternoon and evening. No rain picked up at the Dayton International Airport, but Beaver Creek, our weather checker there, Jim Robbins reporting three, 35 one hundredths of an inch uh, down into Jamestown, just over a half an inch. Barbara Richards and Kettering, two tenths of an inch, and Jim and Eaton reporting three tenths of an inch of rain today. So some decent rainfall totals there from these storms moving through as well as some strong wind gusts. All of these airports not recording those severe uh, limits of wind, but we did get a peak wind gust of 54 miles per hour recorded at Bell Fountain. Likely some stronger wind gusts uh, through Xenia and portions of Greene County. This is from Cedarville. Playground didn't hold up too well. Our weather checker there and Jim Robbins sharing that photo on Twitter. But when we look at our storm reports, Xenia had a lot of wind damage through the city, blocking trees, blocking roadways, causing power outages. Uh, that was the story across the northern half of the Miami Valley as well into Miami County near Urbana. Several reports of, of tree damage across the region. Now things are much calmer. Live Doppler 2 HD clearing out a bit. A few showers still possible as we await the arrival of a cold front. Most of the rain tapering off though into Indiana. We will see temperatures continuing uh, to cool down just a little bit overnight. 10 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday and that front hasn't even gotten here yet. Right now we are sitting at 73 degrees in Dayton, 71 degrees in Troy, 71 in Greenville and 70 in Richmond, Indiana as well. In Dayton we have a light west wind. Humidity is 87% in our heat index right there at 73. We are going to see a little bit of an improvement tomorrow as that front moves to our south. It will be just a little muggy in the Miami Valley, but the moisture quickly returns on Tuesday and we become sticky once again. So looking at our rainfall chances, we are going to see the rain uh, increase as we head into Tuesday. 40% chance Tuesday, 50% on Wednesday. And as I mentioned, a few little light showers still possible overnight tonight, but no threat of severe weather. We will see mostly clear skies early tomorrow morning, and then we keep it dry on Monday afternoon. The storms will stay just to our south there into Kentucky, and then Tuesday starting off on the drier side, but a few spotty storms begin to develop into the afternoon and evening with scattered thunderstorms moving in Tuesday evening. There is a marginal risk of severe weather across the Miami Valley. For now, though, on our Choice Status Center camera, we caught a pretty vibrant sunset there. Temperatures tonight are going to stay in the 70s, dipping into the 60s in some spots. 69 there in Eaton, 70 your low in Sydney, 69 the low in Wapakoneta tonight. Highs tomorrow getting up to 87 degrees in Sydney. We likely will stay in the 80s north of I-70 through Dayton, where we see a bit more concrete. We'll likely get back into the 90s. 91 degrees are high in Dayton. We'll start the day off around 75 degrees. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. 89 degrees around 4 p.m. And your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast we are looking at. Unsettled weather pattern continuing. Still a chance of thunderstorms, especially Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures staying there in the upper 80s and 90s. Well above normal for this time of year.